my name's Christian Martin Lewis. I was in 2nd Battalion, the Parachute Regiment. I did eight years. I left because I'd split up with my wife at the time um, and I wanted to get sole custody of my daughter. I hadn't learned and dealt with coming out of the army probably the best way I should have. I kind of come out from being one of the lads to suddenly being a single parent and, you know, um, I found that quite hard. Caitlin and I did um, end up homeless because of a mix up with the benefits I was receiving and my landlord. That's, that's when shit hit the fan, really. <laughs> Ex-bad trooper, you know, just deal with it, get on with it. And that's, that was my mindset, which wasn't my daughter's mindset. And I, I can't explain there's anything worse um, than knowing that, you know, someone that you love so much, I suppose, is suffering. And, you know, you feel helpless that you can do anything about it. I didn't want to talk to anyone about it. Most of my family didn't know about it and still don't. Although I was in the back of the car, I'd put the back seats down and just dust in the back of the car. Simple as that, I used as much clothes as I could. When Caitlin was with us, I had a quilt. I heard about uh, housing options, which was a place in Swansea that helped you, um, you know, to get rehomed. We eventually got the place, but it was just, just concrete floors. That was all it was in, in a cooker, really. We, we had nothing, literally nothing, apart from the clothes that we had. Got in contact with Safa in the space of, so I'd say, six weeks. We were completely kitted out. We had everything we needed, everything from beds to furniture. You know, we went from having absolutely nothing to all we needed because of Safa, which is amazing, really. You know, Dave would come around here personally and, and say, right, if you've got any food in the cupboards? No, Dave, I hadn't, if I'm honest with you. We're really struggling here. Take me straight down to the shops and help me out with buy food, come back. Um, but I got back into work eventually. Um, and if I sit now and put myself back a few years to when, you know, you know, when I was sleeping in the car and before I met Dave and before I heard about Safa, I can't comprehend the difference in, in our two lives, in mine and Caitlin's lives. I can't comprehend the difference. I don't know where we would be. The future. Yeah. What can I say? It, we've got, it's our oyster really, isn't it? <laughs> There's probably loads of people out there like me. It's organisations like SAFA that, that can really, really, really help turn people's lives around. It's, it's people like you that can really actually, I know it sounds so cheesy, but make a difference, please you know, help them because there's people like me, but worse, that are there now and they need your help. <laughs>